We're in the brand new 2014 Toyota Tundra, and this is the Trail Edition. The Trail Edition. So this is the one with all the goodies. Tell me this about it. This one has all the goodies. Yeah, this one's got you know from the bumpers, you know, from great approach and departure angles to the crawl control to the multi-select terrain uh, system available, the e-lockers. I mean, this thing really has everything you need to go off-road. Nathan, you gonna get sick back there? I am cool. <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> all right, and we're gonna do some. Uh, we do some testing of this, right? Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you the differences between the systems and how they work, and uh, and it's just it's just pretty cool to, to see it in action. different from the 2013 do you know or is this very similar to what the 2013 had uh, I think there are, I can't really speak for, for the 13 but I know that there are some similarities and I do know there's been changes for the 14 I think Toyota can answer those questions for you okay fair um, enough. but uh, you know the great thing is I know the bumper some of the, the cosmetic has been changed um, but the systems itself um, I'm not 100% sure so you'd have to, to, to ask those guys but uh, do you know the ground clearance I, I don't have the number on the ground clearance that's where Toyota comes in for all the details I'm just gonna give you the drive down all right so you're the drive guy I'm the drive guy <laughs> Nathan you okay I'm fine <laughs> you know we're, we're, we're pro drivers for a reason so <laughs> all right we'll, we'll keep it at that fair enough all right I see in front of me a very big ditch and we're about to well, go down what we're gonna do here is yeah? this right now I'm just gonna do it without any system at all okay. I'm just gonna drive the vehicle through and what I'm gonna show is is that we don't we're not hitting the front bumper we're not hitting the rear bumper I mean it has the clearance it, it really walks really smoothly through through even a, a 45 degree articulation just a surface like we're going through now um, it also has KDSS which is uh, allows the vehicle to have a much more articulation and then obviously when you're on the highway it tightens up and so you get a little bit less body roll so that looks big from from right there but it's, you don't even know it's there huh? no it's, it was it's just pretty fine, smooth yeah. so as I come through this little area, this is a little bit of a side, kind of a tilt area. Yep. I'll just walk right up this and I'll just show. It's just, just, it's just the, you, you have the confidence when you drive this vehicle off-road, no matter what you're doing. Yeah. And as I come into here, it looks like we're going to touch a front bumper right there, doesn't it? Yeah. We don't. And that's, again, the approach, angle. The approach yeah. angle is really fantastic. And then we don't drag the rear bumper. So we come right up the top of here. So this is, uh, this section coming up here, this is, this is actually quite a bit, a pretty big, uh, pretty big drop. And, yeah, uh, it looks pretty scary. I mean, that's a good four or five feet going down there. Yeah, it's it's uh, it is, and I'm gonna do this again with my system or with no system at all, just to show you how smooth the crawl control is compared to how I drive. Okay. Uh, or just anyone that can you know would drive because it's it's just so it's, it's so dialed in. So as I come into this, the right front tire is gonna drop. And it's gonna just drop, and it's gonna keep dropping, and it's gonna keep dropping, gonna and it roll. almost feels like it's gonna roll over. Yeah, it does feel like we're gonna roll. Uh, this is pretty extreme. If you look at the left rear tire, it's probably three feet off. The, I'm not sure, but it's a pretty yeah. pretty aggressive move too. Yeah. But as I go through this, you can see, you know, I'm modulating the brake, and I'm and I'm walking through here, and it's it's doing it just fine. But I want to show you the differences between the crawl control and and how I just did that. All right. Okay. So next next little obstacle we're gonna go up to. Is kind of a mud hill. Uh, it's got some. It's it's a pretty slick surface right now. Yeah, there's a little big, bit of puddle. Yeah, big puddle in the front. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the the, the multi-select, uh, multi-terrain select system right here. So, as you can see in this this the diagram on the dash, you can see mud and sand, dirt, loose rock, moguls and rock. Basically, what this is, it's software that's allowing the, the, the wheels to spin fast or slow depending on the surface. So going on in, in sand or mud, you need a lot of wheel spin. You need, you, need sp you need to stay on top of the surface to get through it. Right. Versus, you know, full rock, you want to be very slow and precise. So as I go into, I want to go into mud and sand. This is kind of similar to where we're at, right? If anything, it's not really loose rock. Let's, let's try this, this setting here. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can get through that. You All right, ready? go for it, yeah. Okay. So basically what's happening is a computer is using the uh, traction control and the ABS to give us as much traction as possible. It, it just, it's, it really is surface dependent and wheel spin, wheel spin, you know, how much wheel spin are you getting and, and how the, the system activates to get you over that, uh, that area. 
So as I come into this spot right here, I'm going to get the, the, the vehicle stuck on purpose. Okay. We want the vehicle to spin the wheels, and it should be right about right about there. Yep, you're stuck. Our PMs are coming up. I'm stuck, right? You're stuck. We're how, stuck, man. How do I get out of this? I've got a lot of options. I can either do crawl control. I can either do the, the terrain, uh, the multi-select terrain system, or I can do the e-locker. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit the e-locker. Which it's, locks the differentials. It locks the rear differentials. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just give it some throttle, and it's going to just walk me right over that. It's It just works really... You don't even hear the system come in. It's so really... Basically, sick. instead of getting... Well, it's, you know, you're in four-wheel drive, but really only... Only one, one wheel, wheel, exactly. It's an open differential. differential. Yeah. So, so one wheel is... Now exactly, you're three-wheel drive. Then it just drives right up. Yeah. Also, you can go ahead and, and utilize the e-locker, e, you know, the, the e and you can also turn on crawl control or the multi, you know, the, the terrain. You can basically have those on mm -hmm. the same time the e-locker's on. So now you've got like a rear locker with maybe a limited slip simulated up front. You know, the electronics working up front, and you've the got locker. the rear locker on. So you have all these different options that really, really make it for a great, great vehicle. And I notice you've got a transfer case here because you've got uh, four high, four low, right? Correct. And, is... and and this, in the, in, the, in the trail edition, this is the only one that has the actual lever versus the knob for, for changing into four low. The old um, school. This, this is, this is tr the true off-road style and I think it's great that they left that on the vehicle. Uh, Toyota was able to do that. So now this is where the fun part comes in because I'm gonna showcase this crawl control system um, and I'm not gonna do anything down what we just went without touching anything except keeping the wheel straight, okay. which is pretty cool. So you know let the technology do all exactly. the work. Exactly, you know, I, I just want you to think, you know, when you experience this, this is this is where it all comes together. Okay, all right, let's go for it. You gotta line it up, you don't wanna go too far. Well, I just, I, I just wanna make sure, <laughs> it's, you, it's, you know, when you're me. testing vehicles and you're comparing, you wanna do the same over, you know, yeah. otherwise it's back Fair to back, enough. otherwise it it's not good, so. We're going to turn on crawl control. We're going yeah. to go to speed number one. This is one uh, kilometer an hour to six kilometer an hour, and it's you can adjust it on the fly. So basically, one to four miles an hour, about, about yes, ish. Yeah. maybe so. Yeah. And so I'm going to lift my foot off the brake. Yeah. Crawl control is on. You can hear the systems activate. Maybe yes. Remember that right front? It's a big drop, isn't it? Yeah. Watch it. Watch it go through here and how it how it modulates and manages the vehicle through this this obstacle. Wheels up in the air. anything at all yeah. walks right through it pretty impressive that's pretty fun so if I want to adjust the speed here I can adjust it one up look at now it's a little bit faster right yeah. I can go all the way to six and look at it just even faster yeah. go up this hill again here we go Woo <laughs> yeah. and there you go it's like an amusement park right <laughs> I think the important thing to remember is all the tools in the box the bottom line is these systems are designed to protect the drivetrain. If you get a lot of wheel spin, you end up, it's hard on the equipment. And it really isn't hard at all with these systems in, in, you know, in place. Nathan, do you have anything to add to, to this demonstration? I hate being in the back seat. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> As always, this is Roman and Nathan and Joe saying thanks for watching. And Joe, thanks for being a good sport. Anytime. Uh, we'll see you next time on the Fast Lane Car. Ciao, guys. Thank <laughs> you.